Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your third quarter moon love reading. So third quarter moons always come after a waning gibbous. And waning energy is all about release and letting go. So it's a third quarter moon in Gemini. Geminis, you guys are the masters of communication within the zodiac. So you can think of this reading as it's almost like this moon phase is releasing communication. Your person has a message they want to release to you. Um, and this, this reading is getting it out there. So let's find out what your person wants to let you know. All right. And shuffle once, cut three times. One, two, do the last one on the table. Okay. Let's find out, Spirit Guides of Gemini, what Gemini's person wants to let Gemini know. We're also just going to see who comes out in general in this reading because, oh my gosh. So we have Gemini energy coming out with the lovers. First card that flipped over. Wheel of Fortune upright. And then the world in reverse. Wow. All major arcana is Gemini. So there's big shit going on. So wheel of fortune upright. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or what am I missing here? Leo. And this is all the fixed signs. So the wheel of fortune, it's a 10. X marks the spot. So there's this energy in here about completion. And then we have the lovers here. So it seems like you and your person are totally in line. Even if you're not chilling with your person, even if you don't talk to them on a regular basis, there is this energy about being completely in sync with them. Um, yeah, Gemini, this is really interesting because the lovers is Gemini energy. Your person could be a Gemini. They could also be a fixed sign. Again, we have all the fixed signs on the world card. And I almost, I feel like for some of you, you could be on and off with this person with the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. It's almost like a completed relationship, but then the world is in reverse. The world is the last card. It's the 21 card. I love pulling it this year because it's 2021 <clears throat> in reverse. It's almost like something is incomplete here. Something still needs to finish out. Something needs to, I feel like if you guys are off right now, the love is still in the air. Clearly, it's the first card that flipped over. The lover is Gemini energy. So there's something that needs to be, I feel like this person is in love with you. I honestly feel like that's the message. Um, but there is something in here about um, like kind of on off energy and something being incomplete. Whale breach. Fairies, earth magic. I almost feel like this is breach earth magic. So it's like breaching synchronicities. What's surfacing, what's coming out of the water, what's emerging um, is meeting some sort of earthly synchronicity. And I feel like that's how you guys are going to get back in sync again. It's going to be some sort of synchronicity that the universe is going to put out there. And yeah. All right. More for Gemini. Wow. We have three just flipping out. Denial, true love, soulmate. Wow. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is that on-off energy. Thank you. Vulnerability. So someone's afraid to be vulnerable with you, and it might have caused them to retreat. I felt like I wanted to take that out, but I just wanted to show you. Um, but yeah, there's someone that's denying how they feel about you, denying that you're their true love. We have this lover energy coming out. I feel like they're very afraid of being vulnerable. They're very afraid of putting their feelings out there. Maybe they got hurt in the past. Maybe that's what that energy is about. But shuffle once, cut twice is what I'm hearing. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> These cards really do have a mind of their own. Okay. Let's find out maybe why they were afraid of being so vulnerable with you. Goodness gracious. Okay, why was this person afraid of being so vulnerable with Gemini? Sadness and isolation. Open up. Wow. <laughs> this is so crazy to me. <clears throat> this person was afraid to open up to you. Sadness and isolation. Um, because they were, for whatever reason, going through their own shit. With denial and sadness, isolation, I'm kind of getting this energy that they were very shut down. I feel like they shut down on you. And maybe that's why you guys broke up or have been on and off. Because this person is not very clear with what they want. Um, even though it seems like they want you and it seems like they're leading you on every single time, I feel like there's this energy in here about this person still not being completely sure of, yeah, what they want, what they're after. <clears throat> it's kind of a fearful energy. But very soon, something's going to pop off. 
Keep an open mind. Okay. This is so interesting. So this person, whatever is going on, if you guys are on the outs right now, don't worry about it because it's going to change. Let's get more for Gemini. So we have luck coming out with the dice. It's a number five. Five is literally the symbol of change. So I think that's so telling that that came out. We have the heart locket. So this is definitely someone who's keeping their feelings about you inside. They haven't opened up to you yet. They haven't been vulnerable. They've been denying their soulmate, their true love. This is really reading, Geminis. And then we have the sea turtle, which I always think of like gliding energy. I always think of just like going with the flow. So I feel like it's a little bit slow or it might seem slow, but it's definitely just the universe putting all the cooperating components together, all the pieces together for this manifestation of the lovers. And then we have this coffee cup. And I, I feel like I'm hearing that you are this person's warm cup of coffee. You're their warm comfort drink. And I feel like it came out with like kind of near the soulmate and true love card for a reason and the wheel of fortune. There's a lot about synchronicity in here and things just kind of magically coming together. So keep that in mind, Gemini, if you're, if you're like, okay, me and this person are never getting mad together. It's definitely, that's, that's not the case. What's reading here is you and this person are still madly in love with each other, still very attracted to each other, and very soon an earthly synchronicity could happen. Could be five days, five weeks, five months, whatever resonates. So interesting, we have three, four, five, two, six with the lovers. All right, I hope this resonated, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching this, and I will catch you in the next Moon Phase reading.